Hello, my name is Anna, and I'm here with Jessica to demonstrate a new form March Madness for scheduled to come out on March 29th. Oh, we're fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anna, and I'm here with Jessica to help demonstrate a new for March Madness on March 20th. We're going to be uh, demonstrating a sidekick, also known as sideline series. It has many variations and we're going to take you through a couple of them. We're going to be laying on our sides and you can have your hand prop laying on, on your elbow and your front arm is going to be in front of your body or you're working on that stability. This workout is core, hamstrings, glutes, and your QL, which is like a small patch on your lower back oriented. And you can make this harder and easier. Let's walk you through this. So this one is one of the most stable ones. I'm gonna take you through the modification to make it harder as we align our legs with the back of the mat, keeping them in line with our hips and your torso. And then we can take the bottom leg up and we can pull it on, put it on our toes. Yeah. And the heel is going to be pressed back. I just took all this really safe from you. So this is making this move really harder. At the same time, you can remove this hand and put it behind your head. There's your stability. And the bottom hand can also extend towards the back of the room. Very good. So this is the most difficult version you can do. For our demonstration though, we're gonna take our front hand in front, that's our stability, help you with that. And we're gonna bend this hand down and you can lay on your elbow. Then we can lower the legs down and we're gonna actually hinge them from the hip towards the front of the mat, kind of creating this banana shape, okay? What I'm looking for here is this mouse house. Is this little, sorry my hands are cold, this little space between your ribs and your hip. We're gonna achieve it by cueing, extending your top leg over the bottom one. And then boom, immediately we should have that little space there. At the same time, I want your ribs to be nice and tight. Your shoulders should be pulled down. The shoulder blades are pulling down into the back pocket. And your hips and your shoulders are nicely stacked. So from my bird view up here, if I run a skewer through them, they're perfectly aligned. This is what we're gonna to try to maintain throughout this whole workout. Now, instead of kick itself, we're gonna lift the leg about a hip height. We're gonna flex the foot and we're gonna send it forward. At the same time, we're plugging the femur back into the hip and we're gonna do two kicks. Kick, kick, and pointing the foot, we're sending it back just to the line with your bottom leg. And again, sending it forward. Then we again can incorporate the breath Stapled sniffs, so inhale, inhale, and then pulling it back. Very good. Forward, two kicks, and then pointing back. Really good. You can lower your leg down now. Perfect. Couple of variations. We can lift the leg up, flexing, pointing. Very good, flexing. Like, they imagine I have two fingers on top of your ankle. That's your resistance. Now pointing the leg, pulling it down really making it engage in your abductors and your adductors. Lifting, point, lowering down. Really good. You can go into your hot potato, lifting the leg up. And this is kind of brisk movement. So I'm queuing up, 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 thinking lowering the leg down, tapping to the front, center, tapping to the back. And it's an upbeat tempo, up, 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 up. Perfect, you get this one. Next one could be a bicycle. So we're gonna sweep the leg a little bit back into that little extension, hip extension. And then we're gonna bend at the knee, reaching it back, engaging that hamstring and your glute. And then we're gonna send the leg forward, extending it all the way, sweeping it all the way back, reaching for that hip extension, but keeping the pelvis stable, reaching forward, really good. And we can also reverse this one. Lowering the leg down for a moment. Next variation could be uh, circles. So we can lift the leg up. Again, holding it to your ability so your hips 
are going to stay stable and your pelvis is in place. And we can start circles. We can pick your favorite direction. You can start and make them as big as you can, as long as you're keeping this stability of your hips. Very good. You can reverse your circles. Go in the other way. Really good. Imagine there's a wall behind your hips. Great job, Jessica. And lower your leg, leg, leg down. Um, one more move we can do. We can bend this top leg and we can point it and reach it behind you. Very good. Keeping it on your toe. And then you can try to lift the bottom leg up, engaging your adductors. Very good. And lowering it down. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Really good. You can also do small circles out here. Very good. And reversing them as well. Very good. Lowering down. Very much. Extending the leg over. Good. I hope I helped you play. You're going to play in this position. And have a good day.